we're over in Felstead this afternoon in North Essex. Um, we're putting a, a shed up. It's in the Felstead Prep School. This is going in their in their car park. Now the uh, the thing with where this one's going, it's going into a car park, and car parks are never ever laid flat. Basically, they the, they put the uh, tarmac down. It doesn't need to be flat. Uh, it runs where it runs. So if you look at uh, just here, you can see. Hang on. Oh, I'm doing that the wrong way. There you go. You can see that that uh, base there. We put this frame down and it's not sitting flush with the floor at all so what we've uh sorry i just tilted the camera the wrong way so what we've done we've laid down a heavy duty floor frame a four by two floor frame it's all uh, noggined out and then we've introduced legs where the uh where the base isn't touching the floor we've leveled it out and where it isn't touching the floor we've put legs on it so over in the back corner here you can see that all this here this is all sitting nice and level and it's sitting flat on the tarmac uh, that sits flat all the way along but as you come out from that corner over to this corner the uh, the base has had to be lifted up to ensure that it's sitting level uh, put it on the legs that's it now what we're going to do is we're going to put over the top of this we're going to put 18 millimeter exterior plywood the two edges that are coming out here and along there those two edges we're going to close them in with a bit of feather edge uh, and that's it that uh, that takes care of an uneven car park so we can put a 20 foot by 12 foot shed on it uh, we'll show you the shed when we've got it all done well here's the completed shed uh, you just saw the the floor frame that went down you can see now that around the bottom of the floor there's no gap we've closed that in with a bit of feather edge just to uh, stop anything from getting underneath there i mean it's not going to stop rodents here so they'll their way through it but it's going to stop rubbish from blowing underneath so the uh the finished shed is 20 foot by 12 foot uh it's 20 foot going across that way and it's 12 foot going that way uh, so you can see it's an apex roof this one's built a plank taller to accommodate the doors in the shorter side so basically this uh this shed is as tall as you can go and stay within the law stay without having to have uh, planned permission as is normal for a shed of this size we've laid our felt up and down the roof uh we batten it at all the edges and you can see that on the bottom edge here as well we don't clean out an outlet we use uh we use a batten on the bottom edge as well all of the planks we don't normally show this bit but you can see all the planks are double nailed at every joint yeah every joist has got two nails to, per plank uh and the nails are top and bottom of the plank we don't like do it fast and end up with nails like what halfway up halfway down we try to uh try to maintain standards try to do it properly the uh the two doors on this one are 30 inches wide each the um they're each fitted with 10 inch uh zinc plated t-hinges there's a turn button in the middle keep the door shut and the standard staple and hasp so you can see the door it's all uh, ledged and braced and then uh we've got here we've got a tower bolt at the top there and we've got a tower bolt at the bottom here so with both doors fully open we've got a full 60 inches by just under seven uh, no, sorry 60 inches by just under six foot in height for access uh, you saw the base earlier over the top of the base we've now put 18 millimeter exterior plywood uh, pretty much you're not going to go through this floor it's four by two tantalized uh, it's all nogging out it's all up on legs the uh, the floor's clad over with 18 mm exterior ply. You're not going to go through it. Give you a view inside the shed. There you go. Uh, you can see there's three trusses in the uh, in the roof. That's all really you need in the roof of this size. Uh, it keeps the roof lightweight. It means that we don't have to uh, we don't have to mess about putting trusses every two for all the rest of it. The cladding on the roof, you can see it's all tongued and grooved. Uh, I like this view yeah so it's a, a fully tongue and groove roof it's the same grade on the roof as it is on the uh on the sides the sides are a fifth grade and better scandinavian redwood and if you look there and if you look there you see they've got the grading marks on there if i hold it still you can read it 
and it's a C16 grade, try again, it's a C16 dry graded timber. Uh, it's exactly the same grade of timber they use in timber built houses. So the uprights in it, very important, the uprights are roughly between centre, yeah, you've got roughly two foot between there, 600 mil. We try to keep our uprights to that because it stops the planks from drifting. Um, you can buy much cheaper sheds, they'll use much thinner framework. Oh, I haven't done the framework size. They use a much thinner framework and not as much of it, and that's where they save their money. The framework is two and a half inches that way, and it's an inch and a half in that direction going across there. So, uh, in new money, it's 63 millimeters that way, 38 millimeter that way. It's otherwise known as 3 by 2 CLS. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to tell about it. Oh, the felt didn't do the felt. I think I did mention about the felt, but that felt there, that's uh, two kilogram per square metre green mineral felt. Uh, it's polyester based, we don't use fibre based felt, we use a polyester based because it's much hard, much more hard wearing, much less likely to rip. But again, yeah, it's not the cheapest stuff out there. Uh, just putting the uh, tail bolts onto that. There you go. So there you go. That's uh, a 20 foot by 12 foot apex roof garden shed it's got no windows in it pair of double doors the double doors are halfway along because that's where the client wanted them that's up on a, a heavy duty 4x2 base uh don't know what's happened with the colors on this but hey ho it happens there you go